<laughs> okay, we must stop the prison military industrial complex in California. This is the last place we have to stop it. We have to stop it by remaining on the ballot. We have to end the drug war so that American children are not prey any longer to be arrested for a joint and sent to prisons to make paint. Ninety percent of the paint sold in America was made by American prison labor. Can you take privatized prisons, kids? Can you say Bergen Belson, kids? That was the need to privatize prison. And when the workers became when the workers became too weak, they were moved to Auschwitz right next door and sent up in flames for fertilizer and so for profit. Auschwitz is the blueprint for corporate socialism. And here's the news for you. Government's not supposed to be run like a business. <laughs> it's not. Government's supposed to protect the people from the fat. What doesn't work is the system 
we're living under now. We're losing our wealth. We're number one in the race to the bottom. Why? Because our Henry Fords are making their money by not employing Americans, but from buying labor as cheaply as they can around the world. Then they also pay less taxes than do the working classes. Now that's so damn funny, I can bust a gun. It's funny, too, that celibate priests who've let pedophiles prey on children for centuries are still allowed to determine the number of children women are allowed to care. Now that's some funny shite, ladies and gentlemen. That's gut busting funny. Add their tax exempt status and the church's immense wealth and influence, and you got two more punchlines. Let's roll. Let's get busy laughing this neo con man narrative to scorn in the media every single day, and let's laugh a liberal agenda to scorn too, especially here in California, where most of the comedians are. And I want to give a shout out to those political comedians in New York too who are right now and have been for months occupying and occupy Wall Street. Laugh your government to score this election, that's my message. Do so by electing me and Cindy Sheehan. Times are tough, but you know what? Me and Cindy are tougher. We're tougher. <laughs> We're not fooling around. We're serious about peace and freedom and justice. We're thrilled that women are now 53% of the American workforce. That changes everything, everywhere. And in closing, I just want to say socialism. It's not just for Wall Street anymore, but for the people too.